Hello students, I hope you all are doing good. We are going to start with our next session of areas related to circles. This is the last session of this chapter. So let us revise our initial concepts. Area of the sector. This is a sector bounded by the two radii and the portion of the circle. The angle between the two radii can be given as theta. Then the area is theta by 360 multiplied by pi r square. What is r? r is the radius of the circle. Length of the arc of the circle that is if this is the arc or you can say this is the arc, the length of the arc is given by theta by 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. What is 2 pi r? It is the formula for the circumference of the circle. So, the length of this arc will be given by theta that is the angle subtended at the center divided by 360 into 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle. Area of the segment. What is the area of the segment? It is the area of the sector minus the area of the corresponding triangle. So, let us move forward. Areas of combination of plane figures. In each object, you can see a combination of plane figures. This is a window, a manhole, another design, another manhole and another design of a window. You can see different figures in each object. So, let us move forward and see some examples. In figure, this is a figure, two circular flower beds have been shown on two sides of the square lawn A, B, C, D of side 56 meter. The center of each circular flower bed is the point of intersection O of the diagonals of the square lawn. Find the sum of the areas of the lawn and the flower beds. Here we have a circle, circular bed. This and this is again a circular bed, right? And these are the two diagonals of the square A, B, C and D. Each side is 56 meters. Then the area of the square lawn A, B, C, D can be given as side into side and each side is 56 meters. So, 56 into 56 meters square. Now, let O A, this is O A and OB, this is OB, be x meters, then x square plus x square is equal to 56 square. Calculating further, we have x square as 28 into 56. Now, area of the sector OAB, this is a sector, OAB, this is a complete sector, right? This sector will be theta by 360 into pi r square and we know theta is 90 degree. So, 90 by 360 into pi r square. Cancelling these two, we have 1 by 4 pi r square. Now, substituting the value of pi as well as pi r square, we have 1 by 4 into 28 by 7 into 28 into 56 meters square. So, area of triangle, this is the triangle right? This is the triangle OAB will be 1 by 4 into 56 into 56 meter square. Why? Because angle AOB is 90 degree. So, let us move forward. Again, the area of the flower bed AB, this is the flower bed, right? This is a segment. So, will be 1 by 4, 22 by 7 into 28 into 56 minus 1 by 4, 56 into 56. What is this? This is area of the complete sector minus the area of the triangle. Calculate this further. We have 1 by 4 into 28 into 56 into 8 by 7 meters square. Similarly, area of this flower bed will be the same. That is 1 by 4 into 28 into 56 into 8 by 7 meter square. So, area of the complete that is both the flower beds will be adding these two, adding these two. What we have is 28 into 56 taking common as 2 plus 2 by 7 plus 2 by 7 whole meter square. Solving it further, what we have is 4032 meter square. What is this? 
this is the total area, total area of the flower beds. Now, let us move forward to our next question. Find the area of the shaded design, shaded design in the figure where A, B, C, D is a square of side 10 centimeter and semicircles are drawn with each side of the square as the diameter and we take pi as 3.14. Let us mark the four shaded portion. These are the four shaded portions, right? Let us mark this as 1, 2, 3 and 4, okay? Then area of 1 and 3, 1 and 3. This will be area of A, B, C, D, the complete A, B, C, D minus areas of two semicircles, each of radius 5 centimeter as given in the question. Area of A, B, C, D, what is A, B, C, D? A, B, C, D is a square. So, what is the area of the square? Side into side, that is 10 into 10 and area of the two semicircles will be twice of half pi r square. What is r square? That is 5 square, centimeter square. Solving it further and substituting the value of pi as 3.14 and solving it further, we have 100 minus 78.5 centimeter square. Calculating it, we have 21.5 centimeter square as the area of 1 and 3. So, now let us move forward and find the area of part 2 and part 4. What we have is 21.5 centimeter square. This is area of the shaded design. This is the shaded design. So, what is it? Area of A, B, C, D, the complete area minus area of 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have area of 1 and 3 as 21.5 centimeter. Similarly, area of 2 and 4 is 21.5 centimeter. So, 100 minus twice of 21.5. Therefore, we have 57 centimeter square as the resultant area. I hope this is clear. So, let us move forward. Find the area of the shaded region in the figure. If radii of the two concentric circles with center O at 7 centimeter and 14 centimeter respectively and angle AOC is given as 40 degree. So, according to the question, we have two circles. This is a bigger circle and this is the smaller circle. We are given the radii of the circles as 7 centimeter and 14 centimeter. 7 centimeter is the radius of the smaller circle and 14 centimeter is the radius of the bigger circle. Now, in circle with radius r and angle at the center with degree measure theta, the area of the sector is given as theta by 360 into pi r square. What is r? r is the radius of the circle. Now, area of the shaded region, this is the shaded portion. This can be found or calculated by area of the complete sector of the bigger circle minus the area of the smaller circle, right? So, area of the shaded region ABDC is area of the sector ACO, this is ACO, this is the bigger sector minus area of sector BDO, this is BDO, the area of the smaller sector, right? So, let us move forward and calculate it. Radius of the larger circle, this is the larger circle R, OA, this is OA, this is 14 centimeter and radius of the smaller circle that is OB, this is OB, this is 7 centimeter, okay? So, angle subtended at the center is theta, this is theta, this is 40 degree. Area of the shaded region ABCD as you know is area of the bigger sector minus the area of the smaller sector. So, substituting the formulas of both the sectors, we have theta by 360 into pi into OA square minus theta by 360 into pi into OB square. So, calculating it further, we have theta by 360 into pi OA square, substituting the value of OA as 
14 and OB as 7, taking 40 as theta, taking 40 by 360 into pi as common, we have 14 square minus 7 square. Calculating this further and simplifying it, what we have is 22 by 7 divided by 3. This is 154 by 3 centimeter square. So, area of the shaded portion, this is the shaded portion, this is given as 154 divided by 3 centimeter square. I hope this is clear. So, let us move forward. From each of the corner of, of the square of side 4 centimeter, a quadrant of a circle of radius 1 centimeter is cut and also a circle of diameter 2 centimeter is cut as shown in the figure. Find the area of the remaining portion of the square. This is a square and we have cut 4 quadrants, right? And a smaller circle with radius with diameter 2 centimeter. This is 2 centimeter, the diameter. And we have to find the area of the remaining portion, right? From each corner of the square of side, 4 centimeter. Quadrant of radius, 1 centimeter is cut and also a circle with diameter, 2 centimeter. Since the diameter is 2 centimeter, what is the radius? Radius is 2 by 2, that is 1 centimeter. Radius of the quadrant is also 1 centimeter. So, let us calculate area of the portions cut out of the square is area of the full circle. This is the full circle, right? Plus 4 into area of each quadrant. These are the two, 4 quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, the formula of the area of the circle is pi r square, and area of each quadrant is 90 by 360 into pi r square, and we multiply the whole thing by. 4. Now, calculating it further, what we have is 2 pi r square as the area of the portion cut out of the square. So, moving forward, what we have is area of the portion cut out of the square, we have calculated as 2 pi r square. So, area of the remaining portion of the square, that is area of the square minus area of the portion cut out of the square. So, Area of the square is side square and area of the cutout portion is 2 pi r square. So, 4 centimeter square, this is the side and substituting the value of 2 pi r square, we have 44 by 7. Calculating it further and simplifying it, we have 68 by 7 centimeter square. What is this? This is the area of the remaining portion of the square. This is 68 by 7 centimeter square. I hope this question is clear. So, let us move forward. Area of the equilateral triangle ABC is 17,320.5 centimeter square. With each vertex of the triangle as center, a circle is drawn with radius equal to half the length of the side of the triangle. See the figure find the area of the shaded region wherein pi is 3.14 and root 3 can be taken as 1.732053. Area of the equilateral of the triangle is already given as 17,320.5 centimeter square with each vertex of the triangle. This is the vertex of the triangle A, B, and C, these are the vertex. With each vertex of the triangle, we draw a circle, right? And what is the radius of the circle? This is half the length of the side of the triangle, okay? Since the area of the triangle is given, we can find the side of the triangle. And the formula of the equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 side square. So, we can find the value or of the side of the triangle. So, let us see. All the angles of the equilateral triangle are equal. What is the angle of the triangle? Each angle will be 60 degree, right? So, theta will be 60 degree. Area of the sector, this is a sector, 
this is one sector right this is another sector and this is the third sector so area of each sector will be theta by 360 into pi r square also we know root 3 by 4 side square is equal to 17320.5 centimeter square calculating it further we have side square as 17320.5 multiplied by 4 divided by root 3 and this is the value of root 3 now calculating it further we have the value of side of each triangle as 200 centimeter so let us solve further radius of each sector this is the radius right what is the radius radius is half of the side right and we know the side is we have just calculated as as 200 centimeter so radius will be 200 divided by 2 that is 100 centimeter we also know that interior angle of an equilateral triangle has all angles as 60 degree so all the three sectors are making an angle of 60 degree these all angles are 60 degree each right so angle subtended is 60 degree. theta is 60 degree so solving further what we have is area of each sector is given by theta divided by 360 into pi r square and we know we have three sectors this is sector 1 sector 2 and sector 3 so we have three sectors and in each sector the theta is 60 degree so theta will be 60 degree substituting the value of theta as 60 degree and what is r the radius comes out to be 100 100 centimeter this is the radius so substituting the value of radius also and solving it further we have 15700 centimeter square as area of the three sectors right so area of the shaded portion this is the shaded portion what is it area of the quadrant of triangle abc minus area of the three sectors we know the area of the triangle given as 17320.5 minus this is the area of the three sectors this is 15700 subtracting both we have 1620 centimeter square as the area of the shaded portion i hope this is clear so now all the concepts are clear let us summarize it area of the sector of the angle theta will be given by theta divided by 360 into pi r square i'll just draw a circle with center o then this is theta and this is the sector and given by theta by 360 into pi r square also area of the minor segment will be given by area of the segment minus area of the corresponding triangle area of the major segment will be given by area of the complete circle minus area of the minor segment also we have done the application of these formulas in the real life problems involving the combination of figures i hope all the concepts are clear now have a nice day thank you